Hello and welcome back Burn Bright readers. I'm Krista and today I'm going to talk about The Return of King Lillian. by Susie Plaxon. This book is currently available online in ebook form, an audiobook form. So why the manly moniker with a womanly name? In item 37 of the Royal Manual, it says, The firstborn child of the Emperor King inherits the ruling crown, the title of Emperor King, and all powers thereof. Cast out of her kingdom by malevolent forces, mysteriously waylaid by destiny, the spirited, self-reliant Lillian sets off on a journey to find her way home and claim her birthright. I have to say that this story is definitely one of the most unique reads that I've read in a very long time. The first chapter or so is written in a very poem-like way, uh, rhyming, there's a melody almost to it, and there's rhythm to it And as you read along. And it eventually goes into uh, just Lillian telling her story, um, relaying her story, her journey, on her way back home. Her journey felt like a combination of um, The Wizard of Oz meets Alice in Wonderland. Much more so the Alice in Wonderland part because there is this sense of they're strange and unusual and uh, very like Mad Hattery broad spectrum of things that she travels through. There's talking animals and you know, just really weird and interesting concepts that are happening as the story goes. Now, I read half of the book, and then I listened to the audio for the second half of the book so that I could experience both. With the, all of the voices, you could picture what was going on and this um, comedic humor to what was happening really brings about this, you know, childhood story within it that, um, you know, really people of all ages can enjoy this story. It was very well done, like, it's just fun and humor and there's a lot of wit to it and whimsy. Whenever I was listening to the book, I kept thinking that's whimsical for some reason, and I never say that word, but it was the perfect word for me for this book. Almost immediately, I would picture her in, like, this, um, you know, wonderland, traveling through all these different things that she had to go through to get back home. And the, that's where I compare it to the, the uh, Wizard of Oz, because at the end, you know, it does get kind of dark, things are happening, she's got to take control of her destiny, and she's got to break through all of these things that are uh, trying to hold her back from becoming who she was meant to be, and her destiny to overcome all of this. It was definitely a unique read and listen for me. I think that um, there is nobody better to narrate a book than somebody who's, you know, been in the profession of acting and entertaining because um, she does a, an amazing job. This She should really go into narrating books more often because she is a narrator that I would buy, I would put on auto buy. Um, and stay tuned here. I will give you a clip of the audiobook here to follow. Thank you guys for stopping by Burn Bright today. And see you again soon. Bye. And the old woman went off, humming and muttering, as she disappeared into the depths of the cottage. And then the night sky rolled off, and the early morning sky rolled in. And there began a most peaceful, chirping forest day. Oh, but on this forest day, little Lillian was little no more. Why, in the place of the child lay a tall young woman who far exceeded the little bed. One long green-legged leg slung over the footboard. One foot flat on the floor, the other resting on the window sill. One big toe clean through a hole in the sock. Sleeping in perfect peace she was, one arm slung over her eyes. Then, like a gigantic kitten in the sun, she started mewing and stretching herself awake and knocking things over in this now far more crowded cottage packed with so many more curiosities. Yes, shocking how world time has a mind of its own, is it not? So, most of the rest of this history has been recorded by Lillian herself.
who, as it so happens, started a diary that very day. Coincidence? Perhaps. Or there just might be something marvelous and mysterious that weaves all things together. And now, O oh wandering wanderer, linger a while and listen to the tale of the adventures and eventual return of King Lillian.